<laughs> so I've been doing a lot of thinking, vibing, really analyzing life. Low key been a bum ass individual for a good period of time now. But if there's one thing this year has taught me, I've definitely been valuing self-improvement a lot more. More specifically, the importance of having a solid foundation. I feel like it's one of those things that everybody knows is important, but it's so easily overlooked because of how busy we are on a typical day-to-day -day basis. See, I'ma keep it real with y'all. I'ma get it high. So high, till the day I die, I'ma touch the sky high. So high, that even Jesus gotta ask me why. Why? Did you get that high? So high that if we smoked my bitch ass right now, rolled my ashes up in a Russian cream backwood blunt and fired up that pack. Oh, you're gonna be fighting some demons, play boy. You're about to be feeling like paranormal activity number five in your head. Them voices about to be screaming at you because they loud as fuck. You know why? Because I'm pressure. I say all this to say not because I'm cool. Because I'm not. Kids. Drugs are bad. You shouldn't do drugs. Uh, if you do them, you're bad, because drugs are bad, okay? It's a bad thing to do drugs, so, so don't be bad by doing drugs, okay? That'd be bad. The drugs are bad, okay? I say all this because of a combination of the year turning out the way that it did, the psychedelic aspect of getting high where you're forced to analyze yourself from a third person experience, on top of the copious amount of isolation we've had to ourselves. I feel like I myself, along with a lot of other people, have been hit with a term referred to as ego death. Ego death, ladies and gentlemen, is a complete loss of subject self-identity, also referred to as the hero journey, where essentially you get a call to action into your life, where the trials and tribulations you face lead to growth and new skills that will inevitably kill off the old version of yourself, rebirth a new version that you will carry into the new stages of your life. See in the picture, you got your little hiking man, your little hiking man with his little hiking knapsack got his fat daddies and pointy bare feet and over this time i've come to the realization that this change is inevitable whether you like it or not because if you don't you're just gonna be left as a caricature of yourself notice the differences for example between somebody as bunk transitioning into john gabbana and somebody like 6ix9ine transitioning into fucking 6ix9ine. Every moment of your life evidently leads to whether you create a solid or weak foundation for yourself, no matter how significant or how normal that moment felt. See, I feel like a solid foundation is an overall of your physical, mental, and emotional health. With that being said, two whole thirds of a solid foundation is in your head, but yet we never take the time to figure out problems that are in our head. And I get it. When you're just going through the motions of your everyday, who the fuck has time to really like sit with themselves and fucking meditate? Like everybody's constantly wired since fucking school to just be on go in every given second. You know how many times something happens to somebody and they just tuck that shit in and just keep it moving? Like it almost felt like we grew up thinking that that's what you were supposed to do. Drinking, smoking, buying a whole bunch of superficial shit, hoping it will make you happy. But that joy that you receive is only a bandage to a scar. And if it was a physical one, you would need to go to a fucking hospital for it because that shit's getting infected. A lot of people go through life with a weak foundation, got a fake ego exterior over top of them because they're scared to go through those confrontations with themselves. But the sooner you're able to start having those real conversations with yourself, the sooner you're going to be able to start the healing process of what exactly has been bothering you internally. Like even think about the content on this very website. We got people walking around in the woods barefoot, staring directly into the sun, even though we've been told our entire lives that that shit would burn our fucking retinas they are deliberately disobeying science because some guy with dreads on the internet told you that he was a god but whether that makes sense to you or not these people are still trying to better themselves some people grew up with a weak foundation because of their parents or lack thereof you know how many of us guys have just not had a proper male role model or a father figure for a good chunk of our developmental years and now that shit is translating into other aspects of our life because we haven't fully healed from that shit it sounds like i'm projecting but there is a wide enough range of people that understand just how detrimental that can be even think about the mental and emotional baggage that a parent will bring and place onto their child because they haven't fully healed from whatever has bothered them in their life i should have aborted your motherfucking ass because you ain't Shit. I know the day the doctors put you on my goddamn hand, you wasn't a goddamn thing. You had that sweat on your face, bitch. It was not that long ago when physical punishment was normal for parents to use. But that was a real method of disciplining your kids, just beating the shit out of them. Did I just catch you having fun? No. <laughs> 
That was a way that a parent was nurturing. Go to the woods, get a fucking switch, come back so I can beat the shit out of you with <laughs> it, yo. They talking to the oldest sibling, like you the bottom bitch and shit. Like we by far invested the most into you because we did not foreshadow having any of those other little shit siblings you had. You have to come back with bees or above or it is going to be this belt on that sweet, sweet ass. That hurt people, hurt people shit is real, bro. And if I feel like if more people took the time to really focus in on themselves and plan out how they can go about improving themselves, the world would be a lot better place. And I already know that probably sounds like the most hippie shit I've ever said on this channel. But I truly believe that when you think about all the evil in the world, a lot of that shit could easily be chalked down to something as simple as unhealed internal problems. And it's okay to hurt and not be sure how to heal yourself, but when it comes to the extent that you're hurting other people, that's when it's time to make it a point of like, all right, something's got to change because this is not how I should go about everyday life, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm not even talking about anything got me thinking about the world and shit how insignificant of a being i am on this planet still got that uh that merch in stock y'all need some merch don't be shy got some hoodies shirts even got mugs mugs the lesson to take from this video people is it's never too late to work on yourself take care of yourself treat people well and focus on your purpose you believe you were put on this earth to do. And trust me, I get it. It's a lot easier said than done. But if your constant focus is to work on having the strongest foundation for yourself that you possibly can, then I'm assuming that at some point that shit just starts becoming muscle memory. But, you know, I'm still learning along the way as well. I don't got the answers and shit. I just got the message. I got a slice named Robinson. I keep it on me if I'm the one he's got a problem with. Set the man down, good boy Chris Hansen. He having switches like Marilyn Manson. I keep my dog with me, Michael Vick. Chop off his head, now we doing the twist. Put a whole hand on me looking like Swiss. That boy some shit he should play for the Knicks. You have to destroy yourself and rebuild yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's what life is beautiful because you can always change. You can change right now. You're damn right. You can always change. Yep, you're right.